Hello and welcome back to my channel. My sincere apologies, really. I'm sorry for being away and missing an action for so long. Gone back to school and training to be a medical aesthetic has been really, really time consuming for me. But I am here to give you all the tidbits and I'm back fully for you. My apology once again. Please forgive me. Please. Please. Thank you. <laughs> So, yes, why does your mulatto soap darken? Hmm. That's a lot of questions my customers have asked me because of lots of trial and error that I have done. And so many other promises won't tell you this or people that post their videos. But the truth is this. Your mulatto soap will darken if you use concentrate. Yes, concentrate i'm going to put the pictures up and you'll see them certain ingredients you put in your mulatto soap is what makes your mulatto soap darkens and there's just no avoiding it there's no avoiding it is it that when it darkens that uh, it's non-effective no it is effective but come on when you make a soap and the color so gorgeous yellow orange pinkish and all that and overnight it darkens it's come on we, we we sort of like consume with our eyes first before uh the you know, the, the 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 sight which is the sense of the sight then the sense of smell which is a fragrance and before consumption whether it be topical or edibles so yeah concentrate is one of the things that darkens your mulatto soap and not just uh concentrate there are certain products that oxidize as well because whether we like it or not even if it's a black soap or a um, bar soap that we grated and soak for you know to make as a mix as a soap the chemicals in there are ash the ph is quite high the ph of the soap is acidic is high and that's uh, above uh, 7.5 some of them up to 8 and 9 which is a very high pH acidic and with that when you put a concentrate which is a, an emulsifier it's going to oxidize it's going to burn the concentrate whereas you know some concentrates if you open the cover and you look inside the cover you see that it's already changing color okay that in itself has a high level of acidity and oxidizes quite fast. So much more when you now put it in your soap, which has already a high acidity pH level. So with that said, you have to identify your ingredients by, first of all, the truth is you don't put a concentrate in melato soap. But... But, I say a big but, because if you intend to put it in a black soap, then it's okay. Because the black soap, it's already black. So, but the only thing, the only con there is that it will get darker. And if you don't mind the soap getting darker, then why not? But if you intend to package your soap and resell even for your own consumption, like for me, I don't like it when my soap darkens. I just, I throw it away. I don't care how many soaps or ingredients I put in there. I'll just throw it away. I like, I like to feed with my eyes first. Okay. So if you're packaging your soap for sale and you want to, you use a bar soap, you grate a bar soap uh, for a mulatto soap, do not, I repeat, do not put concentrate. Well, you can try. But this is just my own take and my guideline because I have tried trial and error, trust me, and I have wasted money. Okay, so I'm speaking from a personal experience and scientifically proven that this can blacken your melato soap. Then, if you are making a melato soap, a dark one, which is from a black soap, Ghana soap or black soap, whichever, then you can add concentrate to it. Another thing is oils. Your mulatto soap, the bar one that you grated, you can add oils to them. 
you can add powders for uh, for example coic uh, filipino snow white you can add your powders to the the soup uh, oils you can add not concentrate please oils not toners toners you know like this uh, uh, anything toner anything toner you don't add then if you have water if you had water, even if it's rose water, then you must put preservative. But if you didn't have any water, you just use your liquid soap to soften it. Then you don't need preservative. So you can add powders, oils, and uh, what they call it, uh, this uh, fragrance, whitening powders, herbal powders, you can add to your grated bar soap. For the black soap, you can add everything, bubu, everything. Just add it inside. Concentrate, toner, it will darken. It will get darker, but if you don't mind that, no problem. But if you your bar soap, please stay off the concentrate. Stay off some oils. Some oils are not even good for it. It will still change the color. It might not darken, but it will change the color. If you want to keep your soap preserved for the, from the original color that it was made, avoid concentrate, avoid some oils, avoid uh, what they call them, um, toners. So please, by the way, um, I'll probably make a video of how I make my mulatto soap upgraded. I have a video before, previous video, but this is an upgraded version. Like I say, if you've been uh, my, surprise, my subscriber, you will know that I said that uh, everything I put, I post here is uh, used, tried, and tested, you know. So you just stay tuned and leave a comment in a section that uh, you would like for me to post a video for my upgraded mulatto soap, the bar one. Even the black one. I can make the black one, but it's... Uh, Depending on your demand, you ask for it and I give it to you. Okay. So, yes. So, if you want to make your bar mulatto soap, grated one, don't use those products I mentioned. But for your black mulatto soap. Then again, the second uh, point is this. Mulatto uh, bar grated soap and mulatto black soap. Which one is much better, say, or which one works better? It's all a matter of preference, my dear. It's all a matter of preference. For instance, I might prefer to use the bar soap depending on what I'm targeting. If I'm targeting to have my soap to be concentrated in koic and glutathione, then I'll get bar soaps that are glutathione, coig, and uh, vitamin C because vitamin C goes well with uh, glutathione and coig goes very well with glutathione as well. And uh, if I want it to be like fruity based, I go for papaya, rice, and all those, you know. So you have to make sure your soap is concentrated on something. Something. Koic, glutathione, vitamin C, fruit base, that is up to you. That is how you select your bar soaps. So now, why? I will tell you that the black mulatto soap does more whitening, more potent than that of the bar grated soap. Yes. And that's because of two things. The black one, you can add every strong ingredient those concentrate because concentrates are very very good for whitening you can add them to your black soap but you can add them to the mulatto bar grated soap so you see so the black one is even much more potent than the bar grated soap with that said i hope i made uh, a very valid point and it's clear for instance, this fruit semen uh, powder you see on the screen, you can add that to your black mulatto soap. You can add it to the bar one, but in little quantity because you want to preserve that color, you know. So it's a matter of preference at the end of the day. But to my own, my own little two cent opinion, my two cup opinion is that 
if you want the one that is stronger much more potent go for the black one the black mulatto soap because that one you can add uh, concentrate you can add powders you can add even hydroquinone you can add anything into it oils concentrate you name it you can add it but the bad one you have to be cautious with your ingredient oils is okay powders is okay concentrate is not okay uh herbal powders like licorice like um what they call it uh miracle powder fruitamine uh maybe just a pinch like that so with that the ingredients are sort of like limited limited so if you can follow these guidelines my dear i'm sure you can revert those uh problems you faced with your mulatto soup which is uh making the soup dark in and uh, you know unpresentable or your customers buy them and they complain that whoa my soap is darkening you know, and all that so in order to avoid that try to follow these guidelines it's not about what i said though it's not about what i said it's about you trying and see what works for you okay you don't have to listen to me by the way you can try it and it might just be boom it works for you you might try it and my girl like, ha, this woman doesn't even know what she's doing. You never know. And by the way, using the bar melato soup could work better for you depending on your skin. Using the black melato soup can work better for you depending on your skin. Everybody's skin differs. We don't have the same skin textures. You know, what might work for me might not work for you. I prefer the grated one. That's what works for me. I've used the black one. Yes, I have used the black one. And the black one seems to give me spots because I put too many ingredients. So, guys, thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.